Hello, my fellow brothers. Today, uh, welcome to another edition of Z Blog. Today, I will discuss a, uh, something that uh, that uh, is very very relevant today, particularly uh, in um, in uh, in this in, in the atmosphere of the Middle East. Um, uh, right now the, the, the Palestinians are won the unilateral, uh, unilateral declaration of the UN, of, of Palestinian state. And, um, and just want to step back a little bit, though, and talk about the, the beginnings of this, of, the Palestinian fabrication because since the beginning um, uh, the Palestinians have decried Zionism as a form of colonialism and their plight is to 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 is that is uh, for uh, liberate is the plight of any revolutionary movement which free wants to free itself from per imperial power uh, well, I, I I if uh, if you don't um, if you don't think uh, if uh, you think I'm stretching uh, making a stretch here no we'll just consider this um, I'm gonna read the uh, uh, some notes I took from uh, the book I'm reading a mandate for terror, the the UN and the PLO. Uh, um, here, uh, let's start. On October 22, 1965, Dr. Azad Sanus, Deputy Chairman of the PLO delegation, addressed the Special Committee of the UN. He attacked the UN in this decisions on the Middle East and declared the unequivocal determination of the people of Palestine to to liberate their homeland from foreign occupation and domination. Now, who's what's this foreign occupation? Well, according to Minister Izzat, it's Zionism, which is would you think? Uh, if they're foreign occupants, then, then, where is it, where's the occupation, where's the, I mean, based on, is it, is it from Europe? Is it from U.S.? Because I only see one, one, I only see one Jewish state. So, I don't know. But then, I digress. Let's continue on. Um, the Arab people of Palestine, he concluded, could no longer accept the argument that the state of Israel was an established fact, since um, since the UN was not acting against this injustice. The the Arab people of Palestine felt free to use all means to restore their usurped rights. Two years before Israel occupied Judea, Samaria, Judea and Gaza, Dr. Tanius proclaimed the pillow program at the UN, the rejection of Israel's right to exist, and the assertion that the end justified any means. Clinging to this program, 20 tumultuous years, the PLO rejected, rejected every offer for peaceful resolution. Within the UN, a, a new militant, the anti-Western majority was engaged in remaking the UN system by reinterpreting the Charter as a set of revolutionary principles. Access founded, for example, by Egyptian Foreign Minister of State Mohammed Samim uh, Admar, the New doctrine stated that the re that revolutionary movements were entitled to demand and receive economic, political, and military assistance in pursuit of their struggles, and, and to use all means of their at their disposal. 
all means include international terrorism. Um, the practical application in which innocent must suffer means that the ends justify the means. Yasser Arafat appeared before the UN Assembly and said, Our resolve to build a new world is fortified, a world free of colonialism, imperialism, neocolonialism, and racism in each of its instances, including Zionism. In short, the UN system was being used to justify terrorism by labeling as resistance fighting. Well, now we get to see what um, what's, what's the argument. Um, Palestinian see Palestinians uh, see the Jewish state of Israel as a foreign occupation, as a colonialism. And and he um this shed some light on a little bit on 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 the uh how, why did president obama uh uh had had the audacity, audacity no no t pun intended to to mention the nineteen sixty seven line knowing full well that it will cause griefs of suffering to its ally Israel. Um, um, you see, uh, Mr. Uh, our President Obama is is um, in his in his upbringing. Uh, uh, he, he is in his upbringing. Has a uh, 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 a worldview of anti-colonialism. Uh, he declares it plainly in his book *A Dreams of My Father*. His father was in South Africa, uh, fighting Euro Euro com Europe's domination in in Africa, uh, and he was a, a very strong anti-colonialist. So. Um, and and because of that, because of his open defiance to Great Britain, his father was severely tortured and and persecuted, and and this has I think this has molded Barack Obama to feel resentment against any superpower that seeks to have its whim of others. Um, and I think um, because uh, uh, Palestinians cry, uh, uh, um, there's Jewish state of Israel as a form of anti of uh, colo uh, colonialism. He, he secretly sympathizes with that, with their struggle, and so it not comes as no surprise to me that. He will, he he will chide, he will um, chastise um, is Israel's treatment of Palestinians. So, um, um, just that that was just a commentary, just my take on the whole ordeal. Well, I hope this was very enlightening, and I hope to hear you. I'm gonna talk to you more, and I have like big announcement next time I have a big announcement to make um, and it has to do with uh, uh, me going active the uh, giant philosopher will not no longer sit on the silent and talk about issues but he will finally join the debate particularly the Mideast debate and hope I hope um, uh, you will hear my announcement in the next issue of Z-Blog.